Hi everyone, in this video, I want to show you how to set up a TP-Link router as an access point. In my example, I'm using the TP-Link Archer AXE75 or the AXE5400, but the instructions I'm gonna show you will apply to all TP-Link routers that support the access point mode. There are four easy steps to doing this. The first step is to reset your TP-Link router. So make sure that you're using a router that you don't need the configuration that is on it. The second step is to connect the router to your laptop and set it as an access point. The third step is to connect the TP-Link router that is now an access point to your main router. And the fourth and last step is to finish the setup on your laptop by putting the SSID, the password and other options. So let me show you first the first step. To reset the router, it should be turned on. Now on the back of the router usually, there is a hole here and it says reset. So you need to push the hidden button with something pointy for 10 seconds. Here I'm using a pencil and wait for the on LED light to flash. And now it is flashing, you can release the button and just wait for the router to restart. It takes about a minute to restart. Now the router has finished resetting. Let's go to step two, which is connecting the router to the laptop and then setting it up as an access point. Using an ethernet cable, connect any LAN port of the router to the LAN port of your laptop or of your PC. Now on the PC, open a web browser and then go to tp-link wifi.net and it will take you to the setup page of the TP-Link router. So now here you need to put a new password and then you need to confirm it. I'm gonna put a strong password. So this will be the password that you're gonna use to manage the access point afterwards. So put the password, confirm it, and then click on let's get started. Now I wanted to tell you also that if TP-Link Wi-Fi.net didn't work, you can get the IP of the router. So I'm gonna show you how to get the IP of the router. So in the search box type cmd and hit enter and in cmd type ipconfig and under default gateway this will be the ip of your router so you can use the ip of your router to log in to this page instead of tp-link wifi.net so here at this screen you need to click on change mode on the top and then you see that it has two modes either wireless router or access point mode so we're gonna choose access point mode and then we're gonna click on OK. And then click on Reboot. Now this takes us to step three, which is connecting the TP-Link router that is now an access point to the main router. So you need also an ethernet cable. Keep the TP-Link router connected to your PC and get another network cable. So here you need to connect any LAN port of the main router to the one port of the TP-Link router. So I'm gonna choose this one here. And then on the TP-Link router, the one port is identified by its blue color. So let me connect it here. So here it is connected. And now all you have to do is wait for the LED lights here to light up all green. When all the LED lights are green, we can continue the setup on the PC. Now the PC should go back to this login screen. In case it doesn't go back to this login screen, simply you can type tp-link wifi once again dot net and then it will go to this login screen once again so here you need to log in with the password that we set up when we started the tp-link router if you remember so here i'm logging in and now we need to continue to set up the tp-link router in access point mode so first choose your time zone and then click on next and here simply you need to set up the extended network now, you might ask me if you can use the same SSID as your main router, and I do not advise you to do this because I've tested it before and it conflicts and it doesn't work well. So you need to use another SSID. So now I'm gonna show you the settings that I advise you to do. So first of all, disable Smart Connect so that you can differentiate between the bands and name here the extended network, whatever you want. So for me, I'm gonna name it KSTNet Extended. And I'm gonna, of course, change the password here. Of course, choose a very strong password. Here, I'm gonna put any password just for the sake of this video. And you have the option to set each band separately so that you can choose a password for each band and also a SSID for each band. For me, I'm gonna keep it 
like grouped like this because what it's gonna do is that it's gonna create another SSID for the five gigahertz band that is called underscore 5G and this is fine by me and also it's gonna create one for the 6G so for me it is okay like this keep everything else by default and then click on next and here's the summary of the extended network and here all you have to do is click on finish so at this stage the basic setup of the access point is done and it is operational now I just want to show you some settings that I also advise you to do so on the top click on wireless and here click on TWT so it's good to enable TWT and it's also important to enable OFDMA Mu MIMO so I'm gonna enable both of them and also I advise you to enable under security the WPA3 personal and WPA2 so choose WPA3 plus WPA2 now if you have some devices that cannot connect to this security go back to WPA2 and do this also for the 5 gigahertz band and on the 6 gigahertz band it's already like this and then click on save and now the access point is completely set up and ready now you might be wondering if you need to always connect the TP-Link router which is the access point physically to the main router and my answer is yes so this configuration that I just showed you doesn't work with a wireless connection from the main router to the access point router now if you want to put the access point in a very far place from the main router you can always use power line adapters I've previously made a video on how to use power line adapters I'm gonna leave a link in the description if you want to check it out I hope that this video was useful to you in case it was please share it subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up I would really appreciate it I want to thank you all for watching. I'm Eloy from Knowledge Sharing Tech. See you in the next video.